running things over there. Hitler. Lily. Runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Are these the two two brothers that also came into the series? I don't know. Nine including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're gonna cut me out of this? Shit, get down. What the hell? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Oh no, Daisy! Who are they? Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, hungry and you guys were keeping it there's up only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Wow. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Okay. Asshole. That dude's got some anger management issues. Shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Huh, so you do have a farm. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Oh, God. Yeah. This is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got They're some vulnerable. survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the <laughs> safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Thank French For y'all! Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? All right, why don't nice. I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. What if these guys are cannibals and they're gonna wanna eat the whole crew? If that's the case, on, Lee, yes. I called Why don't it. You take a look around. Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. All right. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. 
You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. All right. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. All right, I can walk. What's this? <laughs> Why am I okay? I'm looking at the swing. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Alright. Rope and piece of wood. Gotcha. I got me axe. So that I could, well, you know, help out with that. So what's your read on Andy so far? Think they'd be open to letting us stay? Getting the perimeter secured is gonna help us a lot. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I'm gonna get back to it. Was it under hell? Use gate. Okay. Talk to Andy, hold on. Look at saw. Bingo. Could be useful if I can find some boards to cut. How about this? Can I not use this? Okay, apparently not. Oh, look. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay, now I need rope, which uh, I guess is going to be a little bit more of a challenge to get. Uh, where do you get a rope? What's this? You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. There are ropes over here? No, gasoline. What the hell? Gas cans, nope. Gonna do one more fix here. One more check. Alright. The board is good, but I need some rope. Okay, well rope's not here. Um Do I go in there? Maybe. What's this? Plans? Nope. Don't need no plans. Hey. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. All right. 
Bingo. This rope is perfect for the sway. I guess it's kind of rude to go into the house before helping, so I will fix the swing and then help out Andy. Alright, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be dang. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh, darling. Goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. All right, let's go help Andy. Somebody's gonna get impaled by that, maybe. The question is, is it gonna be a zombie or one of us? Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Hmm. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Or they have been eaten. Dun dun dun. I swear to God, I have not, I have not seen anything about this episode. So if that's it, I'm, I feel pretty pro. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers. Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> that's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. And like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Yeah, some of them might have still have a pulse, if you know what I mean. Think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is going to go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. That's true. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. Ugh. There's one. What the fuck's that arrow doing in this? Ugh. Oh, probably for Wait, the brain. Dead. Come on, let's push it off. Great. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Yeah, 4,000 volts is all you want. Looks like he's stuck. Great. <laughs> Come on, I'm 
sure there's still a few more. Yeah, one of them is Once still is gonna up, be alive. This place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's yeah, all. yeah, I know. I... There's another one. They're nice, but I still. See. Yeah, that one's still alive. Doesn't have something in his brain. <laughs> or not. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right, I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> okay. Be careful, dude. Be careful. Little help here, Lee? Oh yeah, sorry. Sorry. Oh, can I move? If you're waiting for that guy to help. It ain't gonna happen. Come on. What do I? Oh. <clears throat> push it! Push it! Push it! Push it! Push it! Push it! Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh, Jesus. What the? Get to the gate. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. I can do this all day. Uh, hold on, hold on. Where is he? Where's that motherfucker? He's over there. Get down! Are stuck in the dirt. Get lucky, oh! Dear God! <laughs> oh my God! Hello? Ooh, I don't want to do. It. Okay, we're gonna move. Come on, Mark. Still not? Still not able to? Uh, no fuel. What do we do here? What do we do? What do we? He'll see you. Yeah, I know. Uh. Woo! Get out of here, money! Shit, something's still blocking it. Who the fuck are you? Dead. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. I need to move my on my own. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Jesus. 